director of the circle. This film was brought to me by two producers, which is a special film because normally I come up with my own subjects. But they had a treatment and they would ask me if I would be interested in uh, writing the story and directing it. I'm from Zurich myself. When I read the treatment, I was really shocked because I had not known about these things. Neither had I known that the circle had such an importance at the time. Neither had I known that uh, sort of the persecution of, the, of gay people in Zurich had been that hard at several times. Uh, I had some relation connection to the subject because one of my brothers is gay, so I was interested in the topic anyhow, and that inspired me to do this film. I cannot say if I would do it again uh, like this. I mean, uh, I had the possibility to do both uh, fiction film, feature film, and documentary films. And I like a lot that I have the, the possibility to switch. So I always choose the one thing I think is best for a film. And in this case, we, uh, at a certain point, came up with the idea of trying to combine these things because we felt by having Ruby and Ernst talking about the things, uh, the things get even more real. You really realize that happened to them. Jesus Christ, these people went through this. But then on the other side, we felt it's needed to have the feature film parts, uh, the fictionalized parts, because the archive footage, for example, is a very, very thin because in the circle they would never film, they would almost never take pictures. So and at the same time we wanted to get this atmosphere. We wanted that the, the audience can see how it has probably been at the time. So we came up with this idea. Yes, we are very, very happy with the choice of the two young guys playing Ruby and Danced. Um, we had to take our time. The casting process went, I think, over three years because we were developing while still and trying to finance, which was also a very tough thing. And the main thing I was looking for is, was a couple that really has a sort of a special chemistry between each other. That was, uh, so I not only was looking for two good actors, I only was looking for a great chemistry. With, together with the producers, very early on, we made the decision that we would not bother if they were gay or straight. Uh, both of them are straight, but of course we would bother if they would really get into it, and, uh, or if they would have inner barriers and like feel uncomfortable in uh, acting as gay men. And we were really happy to see how much of their uh, gifts they gave to the film. We really worked on that, that this is not, let's say, a gay film, or a film for gay people, or, or gay people only. To me, it really is a film for all the people, for all of us humans, that uh, it's all about love. And if there is no right or wrong love, so it's a love story that touches everybody. And so we really want to reach out to all audiences because the reactions and the feedbacks are also like this, that it touches everyone. That was a wonderful experience. And uh, when we saw the film first, yes. You? It, it was absolutely great to see the film. And our, uh, this young actors in our person, uh, it, it was very much touching and uh, we were together, and it was absolutely great to see it. Yes, uh, and uh, it was also filled with emotions, because it was it was our story which was uh, which was laid behind. It was it was what well, fifty years ago, and all of a sudden you see this here. It's like back to reality, and uh, there were some some moments we were shivering. We were, we were holding each other, and the moments we were, we were outbursting tears, 
and other moments we started laughing. Um, it, it, it was an up and down, and um, at the end uh, we thought, oh, are we the only ones who really felt like this? And we started talking to other people which also were assisting this screening, this first screening, the film wasn't totally finished at that moment. Um, they reacted the same way, so we know, aha, it's the film which is, which is right, and yes. <laughs> Robin met, Robin met the actor who played him, and yes. he teached his part. Yeah, his part, because he was, he was not from Zurich, he was from Basel, and so his dialect was different, and we tried to do it together to help, and uh, so we know each other very well, and that helps a lot for this. Yes, it, it, it was, I nearly felt, oh, well, I felt in love with this actor, with this young guy. I thought, that's Robbie again. Yes, yes. You love your partner. Yes. That's the first thing. And then you respect your partner. And you don't want to change your partner. And those things which you see, um, I do not agree entirely, you don't want to change it, because it's your part, you don't touch it, but you want to give him a hand to develop in his way, not in my way, in his way, and that, that's what we did, always. But, um, I learned quite a lot from Ernst, and it was a great help in my life to be with him together. Vice versa, vice versa. Entirely, absolutely. I think I've, I've gone far astray without him. He was always holding me back. Change their mind? Yes. Or get more open? Because getting more open means you, you get more healthy. As soon as, as soon as you keep to, to certain ideas, you're bound. You're, you're in a prison. And prison is not a healthy place to be. So, go out. And we always want to look to the people. They are quite normal. And the history goes, oh, love, it is important. And I think this came wonderful through with the film, with the picture. Love is, love, love, love is a common feeling to everybody. Yes. And uh, when love is separated, by uh, whatever sort of people, separated into good and bad. This is against nature, yes. and this is a crime. Yes, we thank you very much. It is a great pleasure. Yes, thank you. Thank you.